everyone. Legacy Radio Gaming here. Hope you're all having a good day today. I thought I would bring you another series. This is going to be my journey, my quest to becoming a sim racer. We're going to start off slow. We're going to build up our skill and we're not going to dive in the deep end until we know we're ready. We're going to start off by doing the career mode in Assetto Corsa Competition. We're also going to mix in some World Sim Series and Sim Racing GP events. We're going to be doing some Le Mans daily uh, races to up our rating in Le Mans. And all that kind of stuff to slowly work our way up in progression to eventually be able to start competing in tournaments and events that are hosted online. We're also going to be doing some Dirt Rally 2.0 and some EAWRC, which we're going to get into later and finally review. Hi there, I'm Mirko Bortolotti, Lamborghini factory driver and 2017 Blanc Pen GP Series champion. Welcome to the career mode of Assetto Corsa Competizione, the official video game of the Blanc Pen GP Series. You have been granted the access to the Lamborghini Youngster program at the legendary Temple of Speed of Monza. And you will be driving a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. This monster is not a plug and play experience, so we first need to verify if you really got what it takes for GT racing. You will be asked to perform some simple and very basic tests like driving the car out of the pit lane, avoiding collisions with other drivers, staying within the track limits and bring the car back in one piece. Our race engineers will need to check your radio systems, tire temperatures and brakes, so be careful and remember, racing never starts from being fast, but from being safe and disciplined. After the first installation tests, the team will ask you to prove your skills with performance focused tests. Be focused, don't overdrive, merge yourself with the car and do your best. The results will affect how good you will start your career, so that maybe some of the best teams will offer you a drive in the next Sprint Cup season. See you on track and good luck. Go, go. Welcome to the Lamborghini Youngster Program. Today, you are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. Our team will look at your best lap on track and dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps and then start pushing. Good luck. All right, so we want to do two laps, get the feel of the track and then start pushing, like you said. So. Let's get a feel for the track, see where we can uh, push the car, where we can coast, where we need to start braking before the corners, what speeds we need to be at to get through these. So this is a really sharp little chicane. Sharp little S if you want to call it that. Nice big swooping corner here. There's the uh, warnings on the distance coming up to this one. That entrance made that corner a lot easier. So that one, entrance to the corner is vital. So we can kind of roll through there in third. straight away here looks like we got signs coming so we got another corner coming up let it coast a bit so this series is going to be our journey and adventure into sim racing as someone who's played racing games their whole life and uh, has played sim racers never really been more than someone who was casual with them as a hobby or games that I played but getting this new rig getting into some of these new sim racers it's really really got me into playing them and I enjoy the competition I enjoy pushing myself and I want to see how far we can take it so we're gonna start off with this career mode we're gonna mix in some Le Mans daily races some uh, challenges through World Sim Series, Sim Racing GP. And see how far we can take it, how long it takes before we can start actually challenging in some events. 
We're doing this all on an Xbox controller right now. I'm going to be getting a sim pit set up. Uh, but for now, we're going to be learning as much as we can about these games, how the cars handle. Uh, optimal lines on the track, as much track knowledge as we can gain, as much driving knowledge as we can gain. And then when we upgrade our equipment, we'll be that much better. So I'm already starting to feel like I'm getting a good flow on this track and understanding the uh, speeds I need to be at for these corners. I'm sure there might be spots where I could probably push it a bit harder. But we'll get there. Okay, so if I remember correctly, after this one, it's gonna be, it's gonna start timing them. The thing is, if I flick the joystick on the controller just a little bit, I lose traction. So that's where, like, a steering wheel really helps with that incremental steering. Okay, now we're on the clock. Let's do our best laps that we can for the next five minutes here. Okay, good so far, I think. I definitely feel like if we had some soft tires uh, that were more warmed up, that could really grip this pavement, grip the tarmac better, we could push it harder. But we're going to do the best that we can with what we got here. Yeah, that was a good time. Mostly green, just a couple uh, inconsistencies at the end there. Let's try to clean that up over the next three minutes here. That corner is such a pain in the butt. It's also difficult, uh, for me anyways, maybe not for other people, it's difficult for me to dive the corners with the uh, joystick on a controller. It's a hard motion for me to replicate with my thumb. Okay, looking clean so far.
there, that one was all green. Must have been literally the exact same lap time. I feel like we could coast a bit further out on this one. That was half a second faster right there. Okay, we're almost half a second faster on this lap. Just about under two minutes. Session is now so we're doing it in 38107. The first place guy is doing it in 38097. So we're real close there. Second section he's doing in 41792. We're doing in 428. His overall was 159.117. We're at 2 minutes 462. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode, everyone. Make sure to like. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content. And if you can and you want to support the channel, I really appreciate it if you guys can hit that subscribe. We'll be back next time with the rain challenge. The next step in the youngster program is doing our best time in the rain.